Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Let's Stay in Gamers, and welcome. So today we're looking at the turret control script designed by X Muni, and you can see we've got a variety of different turrets that this script works with, both AI and the standard sort of user-created turrets here. Now what's really cool about this, there is a mod added on this to add it a little bit more cool, but you could use all stock components and have very capable turret without messing around with mods, perfect for a survival or a standard sort of world server. Now if we head back over here you can see we've got some different variations in the turret as well this turret control script allows you to control AI turrets as well so it just adds so many levels of functionality. But let's start over here at the beginning, we're actually in his tutorial world explaining how to set this magnificent sort of script up and first off he explains that this is the control area and how to aim and so on, aiming this device is simple using at this point here but it has multiple ways of aiming as well you can use a radar based system and you can automatically track these turrets without you having to guide these as well but at the same time you can grab manual control using this aiming pointer and fire them turrets now in the past the turrets that we've seen couldn't hit one spot they'd be slightly staggered but now due to this new system the aiming point is basically calculated so all turrets will calculate and aim at the same point for maximum sort of devastation on target so now we've looked quickly at how the script is going to work we talk about the first system here now this is the radar using these sensors it current creates the actual target and parameters where the turrets can actually engage now moving on here we've got three main settings for the turret now this is allowing the blocks to automatically target so if we enable that you can see it's off at the moment these blocks will automatically target and then the second one that's currently toggled on is auto aim and this allows us to aim with this little device here so we can aim wherever this aims them turrets are going to follow and then finally turn this block on and off to auto fire so that allow them turrets to just function as if they were the original ones in the game with all that magnificent sort of functionality engaging tracking and shooting targets at will so let's actually head over to the control seat and have a look how these guys work so we'll lock into t and if you see i access my hood there's a lot of sensors and there's a lot of direction explaining how to set the controls up we're going to hit number two that will access the remote control block and you can see as we turn this on the right all the turrets will track into that location and if i quickly go to my spectator cam and use nine you see all turrets are tracking into that location and if i fire you can see that turret is firing this turret isn't now the reason for this if i skip to eight and you can see that we've actually got a sensor on this turret telling it not to fire when this component is in the way so that's really useful so you don't end up destroying your own ship something that I, that happened to me quite a lot before when using manual sort of tracking scripts so if we go back to nine and i turn out of that arc then the turret will be able to engage i track back across and i start shooting as i'm going across nothing and i'll track back across turret turns off i can continue to engage without destroying my own ship very simple but very effective so now we've got the basics out of the way let's go into the advanced functions of these turrets let's activate our camera on the block and you can see we've got a number of different points here gps coordinates where ships will be traveling to and i can aim this at any point i can just fire it out into space you can see our one turret's tracking out to there if i access number five we'll fire the big cannon and there he goes off into the distance but say i want a target a ship so let's search for a little ship we've got one over at the b point there you can see it's turning around at the moment we'll access it with four you'll notice the turrets are actually tracking ahead to focus on that target and they're leading automatically automatically calculating the lead i need on that target all i'm doing is pointing it in the correct direction and them turrets are going there that is absolutely amazing so if i switch over to my larger cannon just imagine how hard it would to actually aim at that ship when it was moving actually it's actually come to a stop now and i'll fire that and it'll target the center of mass of that ship there itself as it turns back and i'm going to reload the heavy cannon i'm just gently putting my cursor over that ship and we'll fire a second round you can see how it's automatically leading and trying to aim for that target. Fire again. And fire. Oh, shit, it's not reloaded. Oh, come on, it's come to a bloody stop now. Switch back to the cannon 1s. And we could just track up to that. We've also got targets much further away now. Just watch the lead on these sort of targets. It's much more increased, but at the same time, it means that we can hit that target so far away using these automatic turrets. But let's actually have a look at the automatic target and radar functions. So if we turn number eight off so that'll disable me looking around and if i switch to eight we should be able to see exactly what's going on here and spectator cam for me please thank you very much and we're going to enable automatic target so you can see these turrets are now automatically going to track that target off in the distance there 
And if I enable number nine, or F9, I believe it is. No, it's not. There we go. Nine. You'll see the turrets automatically start to engage that target is. Nine again. Turrets are going to cease fire. And the priority their target, the closer target, will be engaged over the other target indeed. So you can see that ship's turning off and it's returning back down. So let's actually go back to me and we'll access the camera so we can actually have a look at the tracking. So I'll zoom in on the target and press 9. See the turrets are engaging and I'm no longer guiding this. You can see they're trying to hit the target as best as their ability. And as it comes to a stop, they're hitting center of mass and doing maximum amount of damage to that target. There we go. That This tracking function is just so useful on engaging these ships. They allow you to add this to any sort of ship that you want. So let's actually turn that off. 9 and back to 8. And now we have manual control over the turrets. There we go. Now we've got manual control back over the blocks so this is just a really cool script i wanted to show you and without using any modded blocks it means you could build yourself some small turrets that can be actually be really effective on a ship station or even a small ship in this case using these much smaller blocks and rotors without the need for unnecessary sort of mods clocking up your server anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time